Hi, I'm Rebecca Hansen. Welcome to Maker Studio. Today, we're going to be making row house cookie cutters and stamps. This is a great way to make impressive looking cookies without using fancy frosting techniques. So let's go ahead and get started. So first we need to format our designs in Silhouette Studio and Silhouette 3D. So I have inserted this design, which I got in the Silhouette Design Store, into Silhouette Studio. And I'm going to start by ungrouping the houses. And I'm just gonna show you the process for one house. It's the same for the other two. So we'll just delete those two and work on this one. Uh, next, you're going to right click and select Release Compound Path. And this will separate the inner designs from the outside edge. So then we'll just drag this away and we can delete those. And this is what we need for our cutter. So I'm just going to size this to how big I want it. And I made mine about four inches tall. And then save that in your library. We're going to open it up in Silhouette 3D. Go on over to Silhouette 3D and locate your design. And when this box appears import as you're going to select cookie cutter so it makes it super easy to import your design as a cookie cutter so that's all you need to do for the cutter and then you can go ahead and print that to your alta now to do the stamp okay so i have the same house design that we used with our cutter. And again, I'm going to right click and release the compound path to separate the inside elements from the outside. And then I'm going to separate that outline and then highlight all of those inner elements again and make it a compound path like we just did. And it seems counterintuitive, but it'll make sense um, once we go into Silhouette 3D. So then just line back up all the elements and then we're going to group this and then decrease the size to match the cutter you, you did earlier. So our cutter was four inches, so I'm gonna do just slightly smaller than that to make sure that the design elements fit inside the cutter. And then I'll go ahead and save that to my library like I did before. And then you will import your cookie stamp file into Silhouette 3D and you'll import it as an extrusion. And you can see here that it's flipped upside down. So I'm just going to flip that right side up. And then bring it to the base. You can click it and then make sure it's situated properly on the base. I'm just gonna angle it so you can see the different elements. Then I'm going to right click and ungroup the design. So this will separate your inner components from the outer components. And I'm going to change the height of the inner components up here to six. And then I'm gonna change the base elements to be a height of three millimeters. And then I'm going to highlight both pieces and group them back together so that when I send it to the Alta machine, it will print as one design. So you can see on the side that it made the stamp extrusion a little bit higher. So this is how you'll get your impressions. So now you can go ahead and send that to your Alta printer to print. So 
So once your Alta machine finishes printing the stamp, you can go ahead and remove it from the platform. And you can see I've already printed my other three cutters and stamps. So now I am ready to move on to the dough. So I've made just a basic sugar cookie recipe here and it said that it was one that held its shape really well. So that's important so that the um, impressions of the stamp show up. So we're gonna go ahead and roll this out to about a quarter inch thick or a little thicker. Okay, so once you've rolled out your dough, you can go ahead and start cutting. I'm going to grab my baking pan so it's ready for me. And I like to use a bench scraper to lift up the cookie and place it on the tray so that it doesn't mess up on its way there. We'll try a different one. Move away the extra. And then maybe we can fit one more. And this one can be kind of tricky because of the little um, chimneys. So just try and, oh, try and not do what I just did. <laughs> this is why I have toothpicks because before you like remove the cookie cutter completely, you can press down on those little chimneys to make them stay. So um, we'll try this one over again. <laughs> okay. Round two, <laughs> we'll try and get these little, oh, I need to take out the dough that was already stuck. It helps to dip your cutters in flour too, if you need them. Perfect. We did it. And then just get rid of the extra. Okay, now that we've got all of our cookies cut, we are going to add the stamps. So once you stamp all of your cookies, you can go ahead and bake them. Mine are going to bake for six to nine minutes, but just remember to keep an eye on them because you never know. Okay, now our cookies are done and they look so cute. So I'm just gonna place them on a plate and I hope you guys give this project a try. There are so many fun things that you can do with your Alta 3D printer and cookie cutters and cookie stamps. It's just the beginning, but it's such a great way to customize treats in an easy and simple way. So if you wanna give this project a try, make sure to check out silhouette101.com for the full tutorial and then share your projects with us. I wanna see what kind of cookie cutters you're going to make. So we will see you next time.